Hi everyone, welcome back to Museum Pictura and yeah, let's keep going and expanding our galleries. I am, you know, if I pushed it, I could try and force the end of the game. Maybe that's something I should really go for. So I need, we need a new trend card, don't we? So that's going to be Artist 11, Mythological and Renaissance. Okay then, I've drawn a Hogarth and a Velasquez. So though, oh. Wow, that's I seem to have gotten incredibly lucky with these card draws. So I don't want to get rid of the 11. Let's see, does anyone want card... Artist 15, still life. This gallery wants still life, but I don't really want anything from there. I want a blue card. Who else wants still life? Nobody. You want yellow cards? You've got a blue. I kind of want blue more than anything. I'm just going to keep gathering blue. So taking that blue is going to lose me two points and I gain one for giving them a yellow. So I lose a point overall. Not too shabby. But I'm probably not going to be playing any cards, am I? So I think I... It's time for me to do an inventory. I could score the monarchy cards. But I... No, I'd like to do an inventory. So I'll show you how it works. You can take cards up to your hand limit of eight, which for me is all of the cards. And it does mean that Marty can't play anything from my uh, discard pot. But you also get yourself a favor card. So grand opening, you may play this when opening a temporary exhibition, which is what we did when we scored the blues. Uh, and you can score the collection as if it had two extra cards in it. So yeah, I could still do monarchy, but now it would count as if I had six cards in it. So I would get uh, six points instead of one. And I can choose to wipe all of these. I'm going to do that because I don't like all of them. And I can see that Marty is halfway towards uh, having two 14s. So sorry, Marty. This is all getting cleared. And so what have I unleashed? So three portraits from different periods. I've got two different periods of portraits. One of every type. Let's see. I've got mythological, historical. I haven't got a religious, but I've got one in my hand. I haven't got a landscape or got one in my hand. I've got still life done and portrait done. So yeah, if I can get a landscape out there. No, I haven't got one at all yet. So just a landscape away from doing that because I can get the religious one out. Then two 11s. I've got one. Oh, we wanted to get that out, didn't we? While well, that was worth points. Too late. Uh, 26. No. And then 19, just see if one had kind of fallen into my lap, which is what I was hoping for. No. So I haven't uh, magically got myself a special patron. So it is time for Marty's turn. And he couldn't swap anything because he has no cards. So what is he going to draw? He's got a Goya and a Dura. So this gallery really wants Goyas, doesn't it? But Marty wants... Let's see, landscape is good for him, so he'll get rid of the the Goya, but he would kind of like just more landscapes, green landscapes preferably. Although what can Marty do? He's got portraits from three different periods of history. Let's see, Artist 11, he's got one. Artist 26, got one, Renoir. Is there another Renoir out there? No. Uh, and 19, no. And not out on the board either. Okay then, so one of each type. What's Marty got? Mythological. He hasn't got historical, or religious, or still like... Okay, we'll ignore that goal for Marty. He's getting rid of Goya, and he would ideally like... Now, mythological green, I think is better for him, yeah. Because it, it would expand two of his collections, green and mythological. And he does get bonus points for that mythological, so he's going to keep hold of that. I think he's going to claim that patron card because he's got three portraits from different periods. So he gets another one and he can either draw two painting cards from the art market or get five points. He's so behind on points, but I've got this kind of feeling that uh, he's going to be okay. So, yeah, he's going to draw the two cards. So he's got a Velasquez and a Da Vinci. The Velasquez is a landscape, so not too bad. And the Da Vinci is another mythological. So that's okay. So it would be nice, you know, Marty could play two cards and he would get, you know, some points from having played mythological ones. 
And then he could maybe score his greens in a future round. Yeah, he's going to play cards. So he wants... Let's see. He'll get the Blake out, because it's mythological and green. So that's going to be two points. And he'll, he'll discard this, uh, this Albrecht. And then since Velasquez is in demand, this... Oh, oh, Velasquez is in demand and is a goal. So he can claim that next time. It's a, it's a patron. Yeah, he'll get that out and discard Da Vinci. Sorry, Da Vinci. And three more points for that. So on the precipice of a uh, favor card. And yeah, Marty's ready to get another favor, uh, patron next turn. So unless I want to take back no cards and wipe them again, then he's going to get that. Uh, two from Artist 10. I have, oh, I've got one in my hand and there aren't any out there. Marty hasn't got any either. So yeah, that's worked out quite well, I think. Oh, did I want to swap any cards? I just want more blues. There's no blues out here. I think I would have skipped it and just hung on for now. So it's my turn. The trends move on. And we have Artist 13, Portraits and Yellows, Rococos. Ooh, ooh, I've only got one Artist 10. Marty's got an Artist 10 sitting right there, though. Yes, this is going to work out really well. Okay, I'm putting things in my exhibition. Uh, so I'm not uh, doing a temporary exhibition. So let's play. Yeah, we'll get this uh, Rubens out. I kind of want to tuck it in there. Oh, dear. And so nothing for this round scoring, but I'll get rid of. Let's say the, the, the yellow's no good to me, is it? And then I'll play from Marty's discard pile. He doesn't seem to care about. Let's say I don't want to give him the other eleven. Well, I can see he's got he's got the elevens already. He hasn't got any religious out, so I'm gonna give him this Caravaggio so that I can play the Rubens from his discard pile. And that can <laughs> that could slot in as well. Should have done those at the same time. And so I need to lose a point and he gains a point. But I do now have two Rubens. I'll claim this. Draw a painting card of your choice from one of the museums. Mm, that's not too exciting. I haven't got any blues out there. Or I could just get six points. Yeah, six points. Me on 37. I'm going to use my. I'm just going to use my grand opening to get two more cards. And so they are unfortunately not uh, blues. Raphael and uh, Fragonard. Still life. So I do have two out, so it's something that I could expand. Portraits, I've got three out, so another one. And we'll expand the purples as well. Whereas this just expands blue. But expanding it to a certain point, so I've got four, seven, eight, nine at the moment. So nine blues is worth twelve points. Another one is worth so each one is worth three extra points at the moment. I think we'll play the purple, so we're gonna have to reorganise this. I'll do that in a second, so all of this is touching. And then I'll discard, let's say, this purple. It's a portrait, so that's actually two points for me. Oh, that's good. So I'm on thirty-nine. So I can expand my monarchy, but it's it's a colour that I don't really care about. Or do I just keep going for these blues? Or do I try and fill up my gallery for a load of extra points by uh, taking from Marty's discard pile? But he hasn't got very exciting things. I think I, I don't want this... Uh, let's see, I don't, I don't want this red. Oh, that's monarchy. See, yellow still life doesn't do anything for me. I'll have a purple just off Marty. And that can go in my gallery somewhere. We'll work that out. Lose a point, gain a point. So that does give him a favour card. But he's going to get it sooner or later. It's just that now he's going to start his turn with it. And then, oh, I do get extra points, though, for the historical ones. Yeah, let's, let's expand the historical and keep putting uh, blues out. So there we go. That's, that's where I'm going to end up. Unless I want to play, play something from Marty's discard pile, but I would be losing another blue, and I don't want that. So I'll just rejig this so it all slots together nicely. There we go, look how nice. A new patron card comes out, which is uh, three mythological paintings from three different periods. Mine are all from the same period. Marty, I've got a feeling, yeah, he can do that straight away. A 
and he's got a 10 that he, he's got that uh, 11 that he can do can't he so that's draw two painting cards from the market that's draw one from a museum and five or six points so he can choose what he's going to do on his turn but for now that's the end of my turn he needs two more cards so i don't think either of these are particularly exciting for him let's see artist two and twelve no 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 not exciting uh, still life is wanted by a museum, isn't it? What does Marty want? Maybe more greens. You could get more green still life over here. Well, there's only three paintings in here. That's uh, an oversight. So we've got one there. Let's see, he could grab... See, he won't get any points out of it. But he could grab a red landscape, which would give him his fourth red and uh, be able to score that in future. But for now, he is going to score again. He's going to score green, I think. So what he can do it. Exhibit a painting card from your hand in the museum for free and then draw a new card. So he could keep waiting and maybe do green when he's got more out. He will play this and exhibit a card. And it'll be this one. We will rearrange the order of them shortly because he's going to score red, basically. He'll get one point because he's got four of them. There we go. And he actually gets three extra points because he's the first person to score red. So what would he like? Draw three cards from the art market. Three favor cards. Take his discards back, saving him a turn, essentially. At the end of the game, score a collection if it's worth two more. Or three prestige points for each patron. Oh, before, before he does this, really, he should claim another patron card, shouldn't he? I don't think he'll do that yet because he's going to keep getting patrons. He's going to do this one and he'll use it to draw two painting cards from the art market. So they are not useful. <laughs> but hey, that's the way it goes, isn't it? He is going to take his discards back. Maybe get some more things back for the next round and limit my options. We'll see. Okay, so we need a new patron card. And that's going to be two blues and two religious. I don't have... I have one religious. Marty hasn't, has only got one blue and hasn't got any yet religious. So it's my turn, isn't it? We need a new trendy card. And it's going to be Artist 17, Mythological Purple. Let's see, Artist 17. Anyone out here? Nope. I need two cards. Could Artist 17 be in here? No. We've got Artist 26, though. Renoir is uh, desired in Moscow. But it is a blue, and I like having more blues. I don't particularly care about landscape, though, and I've got some still life, so I'm going to hand this in for three points and take this for free. Great. Which puts me past 40 points. And gives me a favor card. Take a painting card from a museum for free and then draw one from the art market. That would give me a decent number of cards, wouldn't it? I'll save that for now, though. I'm going to score purple cards. I've got quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six purple is uh, five points. So yeah, I'll do that. I'm the first person to do it, so I get three more points. So teetering over the edge of the game here. And I... Let's see, I could get some favor cards. I could get these cards, but I don't particularly care about these cards. So I'm going to draw three new cards. Maybe get some things that I care more about. No, they're all reds. Oh, well. Hopefully we can do something with that by the time it comes around to my turn. Oh, Marty didn't swap a card. Does he want to swap a card? Yes, he can see a red landscape out here. He's going to hand in a still life to Tokyo, which gets him two points, and take away a red card, which loses him one point. So he still, uh, he still ends up with one. So at the moment, it's 25 to 49. So Marty draws two cards to do his exchange for his turn. And let's see. Oh, Artist 17 is uh, desirable for this turn. Three points. It would only boost his yellows, though. Whereas he could hand in a religious painting and grab a green, but it's a green still life. He's not that bothered about it. He wants landscapes. And he could, get, he could get that landscape, but it would lose him two points to take it. I think he will just do it, though, for the two points. 
So he's up to 27 now. And he's going to... He has got a handful of paintings. He's got extra from drawing those cards. Maybe he's going to put stuff out. Yeah, maybe he'll just fill everything up with greens. He, get, he does want mythological ones. He's, he's ended up with no blues that he gets extra points for. Let's see. He'll... he'll let's see. He, he's going to put cards out. He does want to score. He'd score green and get one, two, three, four, five, six points. Or well, six, six cards is uh, five points, isn't it? But if he could get more mythology out, has he got? He's got Da Vinci there. Let's just uh, list them out and then see. So mythology is worth two extra points this turn. He's on twenty nine now. A red landscape will be good to have out. Doesn't particularly. He does want one more portrait out, doesn't he? Yeah, religious doesn't really help him. He'll discard that one. You can get this out and discard green religious or pur purple religious is really unhelpful for him. So he'll discard that. Yeah, I've got too many in that row, but I'll uh, rearrange it all. He's got space for five more cards. He's not going to be able to get out right now. Oh, Artist 17 that he's given up was worth three points. I probably wasn't going to do it, though. It doesn't fit in with the collections that well. Does it? Red Landscape does, and he'll get rid of Red Religious. Green Portrait fits in with two of his collections, and he'll discard this Red Monarchy one. And then... You can see I've got Monarchy collections, though. So I think what he's going to do is he'll discard the Blake for himself. Or, no. Yeah, because if you put it in my discard pile, I can't play it from my own discard pile. Yeah, so that's what he'll do. He'll put that in my discard pile to play one of my cards. And he just wants yeah, yellow portrait fits in with two different collections. So he'll have that. And uh, he loses a point and I gain a point. So he's just, just shy of another favor card. Uh, but, oh, he's, he's ended the game, though. So actually, this is a bit strange because the rule book doesn't really cover what happens here. Uh, I assume I get my turn because if this had happened on my turn, I would get to finish my turn and then Marty gets one more turn. So I'm getting five points for this and I get a favor card and that's my last favor card gained from points. And so we're going on to our last turns. And so, yeah, let's let's rearrange all of Marty's stuff so all of this fits together nicely. Oh, so Marty also... So there we go. <laughs> that took some rearranging, actually, but it works together nicely. Unfortunately, yeah, there is... Marty wanted to claim a patron card, so he could get something from a museum, and then all he'd get to do is play something from my discard pile, just with one card. So he's going to have the points instead. That put him on 34. Oh, well, that gives him a... That gives him a favour card, though. What if this gets him... If this gets him some cards, exhibit any painting from any discard into your museum for free. So that still means he's one off. Which is annoying, but if you can get enough cards next turn and a favour card works out well. He hasn't played a fav favour card this turn, I don't think. So from any discard, what would work out nicely? Well, he could save this, but he only gets to do one thing, doesn't he, next turn. And I was thinking, you know, exhibit, exhibit greens or something, ex exhibit something, get some points, get another power, probably score three points for each patron, and then you get more points for having more ex exhibitions happening. Just, it's very tempting to fill up your museum because, yeah, it's worth uh, 15 more points if you do. But I think one more card, what if he... What's he going to exhibit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mythology is worth 11 points, but he can't boost that any. He can't boost landscape any either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's got seven red or green. That would be seven points. So he'd, he'd exhibit mythology. He's just, it's just for end of game stuff, really. 
a blue would be worth an extra point, but he's not going to get a collection out of a blue, so it's a bit of a waste. He's too off getting a collection out of purple. There's no mythology to Nick, so I think he'll just... He'll use this to play one from his own discard pile, and it'll just be a green, uh, which... Yeah, that can, that can just go at the top, can't it? I was thinking it's going to mess everything up, but it can just uh, hang out on its own at the top there. And that's okay. He's got space for one more, but I don't think he's going to get it. Whew. Okay, then. Final turn, then. The trends is for Artist 10. Anyone? Nope. We've already played some of those. Uh, the Historical, which is good for me, and Blues, which is also good for me. New patron card, have six purples. Five, six, brilliant. So I could just do that right away and get seven points. That puts me on 62. So I don't think there's any chance of, let's see, I've got 14, 16, 17. So I'm eight cards shy of uh, filling up my museum. There's no chance of that happening. If I did a temporary exhibition, I could score as if I had two extra cards. So I could do monarchy two, four, six, seven. So pretend I had nine, that would be 14 points plus three for doing it first plus a power. But what other powers? Get stuff from your discard, it's too late. At the end of the game, have something worth two extra cards. Could be something good. Is that more points than I would get from playing cards? I do need to swap something. And there are no monarchy cards. I don't particularly want to start reds or start still life or something. So I think... Yeah, so still life is wanted over here, so I'll gain two points and lose nothing by taking this one. And then for my final turn, then I'm going to lose some points for having some in my discard, but Marty's going to lose more. A new patron card needs to come out, which is uh, two yellows and two mytholo mythological, which is good for Marty. He can claim that first, yeah. I think, yeah, rather than getting anything out, the best I can do is play this so that my collection of uh, historical is worth two, as if it had two more in the collection, so that's going to be 14 points. So that's 78. Another three for being the first to do a uh, historical. And so, having three cards in my discard is only going to lose me two points, so gaining those back isn't going to help. Scoring is if I had two additional cards. How many blues have I got? Four, nine. So if I had two extra, that would be worth 18 points. So that's six extra points. I think the best thing I can do is this one. Three points for each patron you have. That's going to be nine points, which is unfortunately exactly what Marty's going to do in a minute, I think. But uh, yeah, he can't swap any cards because he hasn't got any. He gets two cards. So that is a, you know, a green portrait card is good. He'll get rid of uh, this one, I think, a red. I didn't particularly want anything. He'll get this one. Get a point for giving up a red. Artist 6 wasn't uh, necessary for anything, was it? No. So he's on 35. So let's have a look. Let's claim his card first. So he's got two yellows and two mythology ones. So that's going to be worth four points to him. Which is just one short, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way he could have gotten another point by exchanging cards. Oh, but he can still get points by doing uh, this in a minute. Okay, what's, what's going to happen is, he's going to score something. If the card is put something in your museum, it will gain him 15 points, basically. So it's a bit of luck of the draw in this, but he's going to score. So I think we worked out mythology is the best thing for him. That's got two, four, six, eight things in it, which will be worth 11 points. But he's got, he's got nine landscape, actually, so that'd be 14 points. Yeah, so he'll do... Oh, he's already done landscapes there. So yeah, mythology. So it's worth 11 points. He's going to pop it there. So it's worth 11 plus three. So that's going to be 14 points. So he gains two favor cards from that uh, big jump in points. Exhibit a painting card from your hand into your museum for free. Both of them are. So uh, yeah, he hasn't played one of those yet. Play that. And I think, yeah, that works for green and portraits, so he might as well do that. Slide. Oh, he doesn't want to slide those up. 
There's got to be a way we can alter this. Uh, bear with me. There we go. So that changes things, I think, quite dramatically now that he's filled his museum. So three prestige points for each patron, and he got tons of patrons. That's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen points. What's that going to be? Not back two. That's seventy-one. So yeah, before endgame scoring, he's caught right up. Still, he's still away, so 90 to 71, but we'll have to see. He's got way more cards, so surely his collections are going to be worth more points. But they aren't really to do with uh, his trend card. Okay, so let's see what uh, we ended up with. It's the end of the game. So first of all, we work out all of our collections. So let's see. Yellow, you have to have at least four for it to be considered a collection. Yellow, no. Red, no. Purple, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is going to be five points. So I'm on 95. Blue. Oh, I've got four, nine of them, which is going to be 12 points. So that's 107 now. And green, no, we've only got one. So mythology, oh, I've got three. Oh, I meant to get another one out, I'm sure. No, uh, monarchy, i got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is eight points. And then we can kind of skip forward a little bit. I've got portraits. I've got four of them, which is a single point. That puts me on 116. And let's do Marty's collections to keep up with each other. So yellow, he's got three, six, which is going to be five points. So 76. Red, he's got five, seven. So that's going to be seven points. 83. Purple, just got two. Blue, none. Green, he's got eight, nine. So nine is 12 points. So that's 95 before the uh, styles. So mythology, he got 2, 4, 7, 8, which is 11 points. So 106. History, no. Religion, he only got one of. Landscapes, he got 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, which is another 14 points. Puts him up to 120 just ahead. And then still life, no. Portrait, no. Oh, no portraits he did get, didn't he? Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is another eight points. Okay, so one, one, six to one, two, eight so far. Next up are trend cards. So artist 28, I managed to get three of those. So that's going to be nine points plus two for each history. So nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23. And then yellows, I didn't really do that. So 23 points for me on my trend card. And then Marty, just the five he started the game with, so that's just three. Two extra for every mythology, so three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, and every blue, twenty. So just a little bit less than me. So one, three, nine to one, four, eight right now. Temporary exhibition points is uh, how many temporary exhibitions you did. We each did three, which is fifteen points each, so that doesn't change anything. Your grand gallery, did you cover up the grand gallery spaces and get five points? We both did that. Marty though got his. Full museum though, so I'll get five, he gets 20. So what's that? 59 for me, and then 83. That's just the collections itself launched him, but wow, filling up his museum worked brilliantly. If any of us took the exhibition reward that's at the end of the game, no, we, uh, we didn't take that. Then your discard piles. I lose two points for having three cards in my discard pile. Marty has got four in his, and he loses a scary three points. And there we have it, from having a far better collection. I was ahead by, what, 30, 40 points going through the actual game, but Marty used all of that time. He was spending his points wisely, putting out more cards from my discard pile. I definitely didn't do that enough. And look, which, which museum would you rather go and see? I suppose it depends. If you want the Rembrandts, you've got to come to mine. But if you really like those uh, Romanticist uh, Rococo Renaissance, he's got tons, hasn't he? You're sure to find something you like in this museum. So there we go. That is a game of Museum Pictura. And uh, if you'd like to know what I think about the game, then you can click the link and go to that video. Uh, if you'd like to see more playthroughs, I've done uh, tons more. If you'd like to see a uh, step up in kind of complexity and weight of game, uh, The Gallerist is another art-themed game. I did a playthrough for that that you can find on the channel, but there's like 300 on here. If you'd like to help me keep playthroughs coming, then I have a Patreon campaign. It's patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips. You get to uh, vote on uh, playthroughs, top tens, and uh, basically get involved and keep all of this uh, going. Thanks to everyone that uh, does that. But I'm going to leave you now and I'll see you wherever you end up. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.